Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vernal equinox in the northern hemisphere and the autumnal equinox in the southern hemisphere. I want to just do a little reading here on this energy. Um, Sun and Venus are entering Aries, so this is very much a time to start moving forward and also to be showing yourself um, in terms of love relationships, right? To love yourself, to do better at loving yourself, and also to be uh, shining that light, that Venusian light. <laughs> that Aries energy is about being bold. So take from that what you will. Let's see where we go here. <laughs> be bold, baby. Be bold. All right. Unknown territory. Yeah. I got to, okay. Answering the call and fellow travelers. Um, if you've been, been feeling a little bit lost, a little bit, you know, in this, in that Piscean energy of unsure, you know, also dreamy, not really clear about where we're going. Um, I feel like other people are going to bring you down to earth. Be, you know, grounded, um, have people around you who are grounded. There's something like that. It doesn't mean, you know, being grounded doesn't mean not spiritual, right? It also doesn't mean not uh, creative or anything like that. It just means that you're anchored in the moment, okay? So I feel like this is about getting anchored on your spiritual path and figuring out um, having new people coming in. I almost feel like there's people leaving your life as you walk on this path. It's very interesting to me how... Um, you know, and I will include myself in this, that we don't realize that, you know, certain people aren't on the same path, even though they've been in, maybe they've been in our lives for a long time. And so when we're walking this spiritual path, you're like, oh, okay, I guess that person's not going to be, you know, it doesn't mean we're, we're ending our relationship forever. It just may be mean for right now, for this piece of path that I'm on. Who knows, right? We may, we never, may never see each other again, or we may talk a couple weeks from now, um, may meet up later. I almost feel like this is about new people showing up on your path who are aligned with your spiritual mission. I feel like there's been this, this kind of rift of, um, you know, one foot on the dock, one foot on the boat, wanting to, you know, stay with folks, you know, on the, on the dock who have been, you know, in your life and the boat's driving away. At some point you got to make a choice. All right. I feel like you're moving down the road of answering the call. <laughs> There's that Piscean energy and the clarity that's coming from this time or that time that we just spent. All right. There's a lot of clarity coming from that. Six of Swords. Speaking of a boat, there we go. Six of Swords. Page of Cups. This is brand new energy here. Nine of Swords. I feel like some of you, Nine of Wands might be a little bit, eh, I'm not sure if I want to step on the boat or stay on the dock. Temperance energy here, nine of pentacles. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at all the nines here. And then uh, temperance, wow. Temperance is um, uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius rules the ninth house. So we have like the ending of a cycle here. You bet we do. This is what just happened in the past. So there's definitely, if there's some shaky a little shaky, baby, if there's some shaky bedrock on which a relationship has been built. I That can't withstand the spiritual path. I feel like you might have had your foot in both worlds for a while on that one. I'm not feeling it now. Two of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Wands, Three of Swords. Yeah. So there's some, there's some kind of ending happening here. Strength and Sun and Six of Cups. Oh, isn't this beautiful? So this can be making way for a new love, someone who is a Leo. I see Leo, Sag here. Um, I see Pisces energy here. So we'll look at that in the extended. This feels to me like in the energy of this brand new day, right? Because we are starting the year. Uh, the, the year starts um, in Aries, right? The year starts when we get around to the vernal equinox. Um, northern hemisphere, vernal equinox. It starts in the southern hemisphere at the autumnal equinox. Okay, this is, you know, it's sort of a northern, northern hemisphere centric idea in my mind. But anyway, uh, we are moving down a new path right now. This is, you know, it is like 
New Year's Eve, right? The real New Year is March 20th. Okay, March 20th, March 21st. That's the real New Year. That's when the, the calendar in terms of our uh, astrological calendar starts. Okay, so I feel like there is, you know, we're getting to the end of the cycle. And if we're talking about the beginning of a cycle, um, what can stay and what can't stay? What is now, right? Six of Swords and Page of Cups. It's a little bit like, um, all right, we've been going to school, you know, all year. Seniors in high school, we're going to be graduating kind of scattered to the four winds based on what we're here to do, based on our mission and our, and our, and our uh, path. And I feel like this is one of the time of a lot of people uh, trying to figure out what it is they want to do. There's some relationships here or some situations that get blown up if they're, they're not on solid ground. I feel like how this has happened, the universe is bringing this in. Okay. Temperance. This is like, okay. The angels are like, who can stay? Who can go forward? Who goes off this direction? Who goes off that direction? I feel like now you're seeing the wisdom of the manifestation that we do in our dreamy energy, our Piscean energy. So that new moon that we had uh, a while back, new moon in Pisces about, you know, allowing, um, uh, ourselves to manifest and dream big. Okay. Allowing ourselves to do that. Now you see that some stuff that's not in alignment with that, it's moving on, okay? So some of you could wanna hold on to some of these things, right? If, if your career is not in alignment with, your, with what you're here to do, that can likely break apart and move, and move away. Whatever it is, it's built on shaky ground. Maybe it's built on a lie. Maybe it's built on, you know, lack of clarity when you're, you know, when you're choosing career paths or you're choosing, maybe you just chose it because it was like in the moment and, you know, maybe it wasn't right for you, but you're hanging on to it long enough to like get out of it what you need to get out of it or what is beneficial to you. Um, there could be this feeling of like shaky, shakiness. Okay. There could be this feeling of like, oh, wow, things are kind of, you know, moving down this road of, um, some things are going away from me. Some new things are coming in that you have asked for this. You have manifested this. All right. This is your path. And, uh, you know, I see the three of swords here in the outcome, which is like, all right, some things, some things that need to move on. That's kind of sad for me, but I feel like you're going to be in a really good place. Nine of pentacles, very stable, very solid. Cause you're basically separating the wheat from the chaff. There's lessons you've learned. You don't need to do those cycles anymore. You're done with those cycles. Okay, you don't need it. And what's coming in is something bright and beautiful and empowered. Okay, that's the biggest gift I think here is that you're being empowered by this energetic removal of stuff that's keeping you down or keeping you in low vibration or whatever it is. Okay, so I do see Pisces here. I see Leo. I see Sag. I will definitely look at that. And the fellow travelers, let me let me get clarity around that here. I feel like new people are coming in. Absolutely. Ace of Cups, new people coming in. Queen of Wands, could be a Sag, could be a Leo. Like I said, Aquarius energy, healing. Oh, so beautiful. And healing abundance too. Wow. Okay, so I feel like this, whatever this was, was blocking abundance. Right, because it was lower vibration. Okay, and it's really going to be healing your love path and your abundance path. Clarify the tower for me. Eight of Swords. Yeah, Mindsets, Page of Wands, High Priestess. You bet. So um, I've been having the experience recently of a lot of um, crown chakra tingling and uh, high pitched ringing in my ears and even thumping on my ears. It is what that is, is a new level of awakening, a new level of gifts opening up, a new level of, I, I believe uh, from my dreams, I've been paying attention to what's been going on <laughs> and writing them down every day. And this, uh, I am now working with an archangel that I have not worked with in the past. I have usually been working with Gabriel and Michael and they have been fabulous. Uh, but this is Archangel Metatron that is coming in for me right now. And it is all about clearing away of mindsets that are blocking 
okay? Uh, any negative patterns, any negative mindsets. This is about learning new stuff around your intuition, allowing your intuition to be your guide and teacher. Um, Page of Wands and Page of Pentacles, being inspired by this new information now. Okay, so the, if you're watching this, you're in alignment with this. Okay, um, this is what's coming in. One more thing to talk about the Three of Swords, clarify the Three of Swords. Six of Wands, Page of Swords, Queen of Cups. Okay, so really this is, um, you're moving into following your heart more. I feel like um, this clearing out is now just like, okay, now there's just open space so that you can be filled up with a more healing connection, uh, a, more, a more passionate connection, a more loving connection, a more abundant connection. Fellow travelers, this new person that's coming in um, or new experience around love. It's a new experience around love. That's what's coming in here. All right, so in the extended, I'm going to keep going on this. If this resonates for you, you can keep on with me. I will look at Leo. I will look at Sag. I will look at Pisces. And I will look at Aquarius. Okay, so you may or may not be, oh, Cancerians here too. You may or may not be any of those signs. You may not be dealing with any of those signs. But those signs are showing up as important, so you may want to stick around for that information. Um, if you want to follow, follow on to the rest of this reading, the link is below. I'll see you over there.